Hey, good morning. Welcome back. You see patchy fog will be possible early today. So if you do have to do any driving, uh, give yourself some extra time. You might run into some patchy fog and the fog won't last very long this morning, but we're going to keep the cloud cover and the chance for some stray rain showers as we move through the rest of the day. Now, if you're looking to avoid rain, you want more sunlight that's going to arrive tomorrow and continue actually for the rest of the week here. We're in the upper 60s, lower 70s. Now our temperatures at this moment are in a comfortable spot, just like they were yesterday. If you're outside yesterday early, you, you're going to be comfortable if you were comfortable uh, then. Now our temperatures will bounce back very slowly today, so we're actually going to be around 80 by the end of the afternoon. And remember, we do have the patchy fog early, but that will again transition into cloud cover as we move through these next few hours. So you can see visibility is reduced down to five. Terre Haute four in Robinson, seven in Vincennes. So the fog is again very patchy, but you can see where the mostly cloudy sky uh, stays even after the fog begins to dissipate. So we have the chance for some scattered light rain showers on our future cast here. This is the middle part of the day. This is lunchtime. Even around this time, we do have some breaks in these clouds where sunlight is getting through there. But you can see again, isolated rain, a possibility all day long. Even in the afternoon when the clouds even try to break up even more, and we start to see more and more sunlight. You can see where a line of rain showers is trying to get organized here. And you know, it is more substantial compared to this morning's early rain showers, but it, even then it's not that heavy. And over the course of the afternoon, early evening, again, these rain showers pass through here, but we're going to see progressively more and more clear sky. So sunlight will try to drive temperatures upward during that time a little bit more. Now tonight, clouds, rain, they try to leave and we're going to see drier conditions take over, setting the stage for much nicer weather tomorrow. So around 80 today, most of the time you're in the 70s, comfortable when it comes to our temperatures. But like I said, you're working around isolated rain and over the course of the night tonight, clouds leave. So our temperatures will drop to a little bit of a lower spot. We're going to be in the lower 60s and we have these winds out of the northeast, very light tonight, northerly tomorrow, picking up some speed. But you know that nice cool breeze tomorrow, Along with the sunlight is a combination for a very nice day. We're in the lower 80s, a little bit warmer because more sun. And if you need to do anything outside, you can avoid rain. So this is probably a better day to get outside. Uh, today still comfortable enough and the rain showers move out tonight. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. Same situation. We're dry. Temperatures going to be in the lower 80s, mid 80s on Friday, close to normal for this part of September before we cool back down uh, through the weekend. And you can see the result of that Saturday, Sunday, a chance of rain both days and then Monday, a substantial chance of rain. But our temperatures again mid 70s, even for this part of the year, that's a little bit cooler than we typically get to. So it's going to be comfortable just a little bit on the cool side and we're going to see a chance of rain again beginning.